Part 2 Trading Trend Trading Sometimes also referred to as position trading. Trend trading is a strategy that involves holding positions for a longer period of time, typically at least a few months. As the name would suggest, trend traders try to take advantage of directional trends. Trend traders may enter a long position in an uptrend and a short position in a downtrend. Trend traders will typically use fundamental analysis, but this may not always be the case. Even so, the fundamental analysis considers events that may take a long time to play out, and these are the moves that trend traders try to take advantage of. A trend trading strategy assumes that the underlying asset will keep moving in the direction of the trend. However, trend traders also have to take into account the possibility of a trend reversal. As such, they may also incorporate moving averages, trend lines, and other technical indicators in their strategy to try and increase their success rate and mitigate financial risks. Trend trading can be ideal for beginner traders if they properly do their due diligence and manage risk. Scalping is one of the quickest trading strategies out there. Scalpers don't try to take advantage of big moves or drawn out trends. It's a strategy that focuses on exploiting small moves over and over again. For example, profiting off of bid ask spreads, gaps in liquidity, or other inefficiencies in the market. Scalpers don't aim to hold their positions for a long time. It's quite common to see scalp traders opening and closing positions in a matter of seconds. This is why scalping is often related to high frequency trading, HFT. Scalping can be an especially lucrative strategy if a trader finds a market inefficiency that happens over and over again, and that they can exploit. Each time it happens, they can make small profits that add up over time. Scalping is generally ideal for markets with higher liquidity, where getting in and out of positions is relatively smooth and predictable. Scalping is an advanced trading strategy that isn't recommended for beginner traders due to its complexity. It also requires a deep understanding of the mechanics of the markets. Other than that, scalping is generally more suitable for large traders, whales. The percentage profit targets tend to be smaller, so trading larger positions make more sense. Passive investment strategies enable a more hands-off approach, where the management of the portfolio requires less time and attention. While there are differences between trading and investment strategies, trading ultimately means buying and selling assets in the hopes of making a profit. Buy and hold is a passive investment strategy where traders buy an asset intending to hold it for a long time, regardless of market fluctuations. This strategy is typically used in long-term investment portfolios, where the idea is simply to get in the market without any regard for timing. The idea behind this strategy is that on a long enough time frame, the timing or entry price won't matter much. The buy and hold strategy is almost always based on fundamental analysis and typically won't concern itself with technical indicators. The strategy also probably won't involve monitoring the performance of the portfolio frequently, only once in a while. While Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have only been around for a little more than a decade, the HODL phenomenon could be compared to the buy and hold strategy. However, cryptocurrencies are a risky and volatile asset class. While buying and holding Bitcoin is a well-known strategy within the cryptocurrency space, the buy and hold strategy may not be suitable for other cryptocurrencies. Index investing. Typically, index investing means buying ETFs and indices in traditional markets. However, this type of product is also available in the cryptocurrency markets. Both on centralized cryptocurrency exchanges and within the decentralized finance, DeFi, movement. The idea behind a crypto index is to take a basket of crypto assets and create a token that tracks their combined performance. This basket may be made up of coins from a similar sector, such as privacy coins or utility tokens. Or, it could be something else entirely, as long as it has a reliable price feed. As you'd imagine, most of these tokens heavily rely on blockchain oracles. How can investors use crypto indexes? For example, they could invest in a privacy coin index instead of picking an individual privacy coin. This way, they can bet on privacy coins as a sector while eliminating the risk of betting on a single coin. Tokenized index investing will likely become more popular over the coming years. It enables a more hands-off approach to investing in the blockchain industry and cryptocurrency markets. In conclusion, Devising a crypto trading strategy that suits your financial goals and personality style is not an easy task. We went through some of the most common crypto trading strategies, so hopefully, you can figure out which one may suit you best. To find out what is working and what is not, 
you should follow and track each trading strategy, without breaking the rules you set. It's also helpful to create a trading journal or sheet so you can analyze each strategy's performance. But it's worth noting that you don't have to follow the same strategies forever. With enough data and trading records, you should be able to adjust and adapt your methods. In other words, your trading strategies should be constantly evolving as you gain trading experience. It may also be beneficial to allocate different parts of your portfolio to different strategies. This way, you can track the individual performance of each strategy while exercising proper risk management. Thank you for watching and don't forget to watch part 1.